So there we have got uh, a short exercise to work on as uh, an exam. So this is a typical exam question that we are given. Uh, question number four, we were given 4.1, solve for x. Once you are solving for x, that's an equation that you are working with where we talked of the left-hand side being equal to the right-hand side. So let's see what we are given on 4.11. 3x minus 6 is equal to a 9. And you're asked to solve for x, 4 marks for that. So remember your concept of the additive and also the multiplicative inverse. The minus 6 is a number that is uh, on the left-hand side that we just need to remove here. It is not part of this x. So how can we remove this? We simply need to add a 6. Remember, it's a minus. So by adding a 6, both sides, we are removing this minus 6 that we are having because we are going to have 3x is equal to 9 plus a 6. This one is given as a 0. Remember the additive concept, a number added to its negative is going to give us a 0. So meaning say even minus x, when added to x, must give us a 0. So by adding minus 6 plus 6, we are obtaining what? A 0 there. Then we add on the other side uh, 9 plus 6, which was going to give us a 15. All right. From there, we are multiplying. So remember of the multiplicative inverse. For you to obtain a 1, x must be multiplied to its inverse or its reciprocal to have a 1. So I said that if you multiply a number, guys, like 4 times 1 over 4, like it's same as 4 over 4. Just one and the same. So the multiplying by 1 over 3, just divide by 3. It is multiplying, just divide. To multiply by 1 over 3 simply means divide by what? By a 3. So divide by a 3, x is equal to what? 3 into 15, that's a 5. Or 15 divided by 3, that is going to be a 5. So we can also test this uh, value that we've just obtained in place of x. Let us substitute the x that we are given. So let us check and see. The x is 5, so that is 3. Then you substitute where x is. You're going to put a 5, so that is 3 times a 5. Remember, 3x means 3 times. So 3 times a 5 minus a 6 is supposed to be equal to a 9, okay? 3 times 5, that is 15, minus a 6 is equal to a 9. 15 minus 6, that's a 9, equal to a 9, which is actually true. As we can see, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So our x there is correct. All right, so that is how you can actually check if uh, you're in the right direction. So there it is just to solve, okay? Just solve, just find x, okay? But you can do that to check under exam condition. Just uh, try also to check is uh, to see if you're in the right uh, direction. Another part it is to solve this equation 2 into the bracket of x plus 4. Then there is a plus 2, which is added. This is equal to 5x plus a 1. So in the solving of these equations, sometimes also the simplification, the normal simplification of those algebraic expressions is needed. So in this case, if you are to consider the left-hand side of our equation, this is just a normal algebraic expression. This can be a question that you're asked to just simplify this. Remember your expansion of brackets, collecting of like terms. Before you think of the solving of the equation, so we can distribute by the two into the bracket. There's a two outside of the bracket. Uh, so let's try here, distribute by distributing this into the bracket. That's two times x, which is two x, two times a four which is eight. Then a plus two, which is not part of the bracket, just add it plus a two, that is equal to five X plus a one. We can simplify again the, these two numbers, eight plus two, which is a 10, that is equal to five X plus one. At this stage, yes, you can even collect your like terms if you wanted to do that, or you can ignore it, just add these two. Then at this stage, since we are to solve, remember, you need to solve, therefore, for x. You need to find x. But in determining x, we can see that there is x on the left-hand side. There is also x here on the right-hand side. Same concept with the constants. There's a constant here, a plus 10 on the left-hand side. There is a constant there. 
a one on the right hand side. So that is where we think of collecting the like terms. So you have to collect like terms, the terms of x to one side of the equation. All right, so let's say I decide to leave the 2x as it is on the left hand side, then transpose the 5x this side. Remember, crossing of the equal sign changes the sign on the number that you're given or the term that you're given. So the moment it crosses the equal sign, it changes. It was a positive 5x, so this side is going to be a negative 5x which is equal to, you do the same thing, the 10, take it to the other side of the equation. The moment it crosses the equal sign, what is going to happen? It changes the sign. It was a plus, this side is going to be a minus. So that means we've got 1 minus a 10. That's the concept. 10 on this side, a negative. It was a positive, positive, take note. So the moment you write it this side, it changes the sign to a minus. So we can... Now, uh, simplify the left-hand side, the right-hand side before we solve, because these are like terms. So we can subtract 2 minus 5, that is minus 3x, is equal to 1 minus 10, which is a minus 9. So to obtain the x value, remember your multiplicative inverse, you are multiplying by a minus 3. So you simply divide by that minus 3. By dividing by minus 3, you obtain the x value, 9, uh, that's the negative, negative can cancel. So 9 divided by 3, that is going to give us a 3. So this is the x value that is going to satisfy our equation. If you substitute this value, uh, it is going to give us exactly what we need on the uh, right-hand side and the left-hand side is going to be the same. All right, so you can also check that part. Uh, like I said, checking of the equations, it's up to you once you're given to solve and you're not given to check that, you can just solve and leave it like that. But checking is just for you to be sure of the value that you just calculated. 4.2, you're given that Aisha is three years older than Paul. So these are two uh, people that you're given. So one is three years older than the other one. So these are ages. So let's, let's just say we assume that uh, Aisha's age, all right, let's just assume that Aisha's age is X. Then we assume um, Paul's age to be Y because these two are different. They are different. But we are given that Aisha's age is three years, Aisha is three years older than, she's three years older, meaning to say, in place of this year age, we're just going to have three. Then the total. Uh, together, their ages add up to 17 years old. All right, let's start with this part. Their ages to, together, if you add up them, if you add the one for Aisha and the one for employees, it must be, it must be 17, the total. Okay, now it's going to be up to you because I introduced the two things, the part of X and Y, that's why I need to end up with this. It's going to be in your hands. How are you going to present this statement? We are asked to, we are asked here, how old is Aisha? And the age is X. So it is up to you. Are you going to write a statement that we are given in the first place in terms of X and Y together or in terms of X alone? Okay. If they are saying Aisha is three years older than it, it's she's three years older. It means, let's say, uh, when she is five. What about Posse age? If she is five years, and they're saying it's she's five years older, it means along this post age, it is supposed to be five minus a three, which is two. So that this one is three years older. If if Mpo is two years then Aisha must supposed to be three, uh, like two plus three, which is a five. That is to be three years older. If you add a three, you must get a five. So this is the concept. For it to be an equation, remember these two, they are not the same. Once you're saying this one is older or this one is less in terms of the, you're comparing, they are not the same. So for these two to be the same, they, they, it's up to you how you're going to simplify it. 
because they are not the same. So for five to be the same as these two, it means I can subtract a three this side. Five minus three is equal to two. Or I can do this, the five to be equal to the two that I was having there. What can I do? I can simply add a three this side. Two plus three gives us a five. It gives us a five. So in order for us to have Aisha's edge, which is this X here, in terms of this Y, we're going to write it like this. Aisha's edge, since we are told that she is three years older than, three years older, it means we are going to take Mpo's age, then we add a three. She is three years older. Not three times, but three years older than. So for these two to be equal, we must add a three on Mpo's age so that it will be equal to Aisha's age. So it's a statement that you can see that X is equal to Y plus three. The same part here we are given that X plus Y is 17. If you add their ages, you must get a 17. So what, how old is Aisha? Which is the age. And the age is represented with what? With X. So you can solve for X in that case. All right. So this is what you can do. Rewriting this equation as this one that we are seeing here. It is going to be like this. X. Okay. You take this Y, this side. It becomes a minus Y like this, which is equal to three. So you just want to write in the same manner like this. So when you are given this type of an equation, do not worry that there is X and there is Y at the same time. Do not worry about that. You just ask yourself, how can I remove the part that I do not want? Remember, we want to know how old is Aisha, meaning to say we are supposed to solve for X. So how can we solve for X? We just need to get rid of this y that we are seeing. Guys, as we can see, that's plus y minus y. So the moment that we combine these two by adding, this y is going to be removed. Okay? Y plus minus y cancels. You remove this. But whatever that you are going to do here is supposed to affect everything. So it's x plus x. It's 1x, 1x. So it's 1 plus 1 which is 2x, is equal to, we add again this side, 17 plus a 3. You, you add as it is, this, this number, this sign that you see here, you, are, you apply it as it is, 17 plus a 3, which is what, a 20. So remember from our equations, if you are given only x like this, we can divide. This is a product from the multiplicative, so we can divide by 2, that is going to give us a 10. So that is our X representing Aisha's age. So hence or therefore, uh, in this case, Aisha's age is 10. So in this case, she was 10 years old. That is the concept of our question. So in solving of this nature of a question, you can do it, you can solve it in many ways. You can have it in different ways that you understand. Uh, I don't know which way that you do understand, like in, in, in case of uh, the presentation. But let's try uh, work with this method. If it is difficult, then let me know so that we can try and have another way of solving this type of an equation. But that's how you can formulate equations, then how you can also solve them. Uh, when they have got two unknown, you focus with the one that you're supposed to calculate, it is the x. So do not focus, remove that y. But the question is, are you going to add or subtract? So you can test y plus minus y like this. That's a zero. If we had to subtract y minus minus y, it was not going to give us a zero because you add. That's y plus y, which is 2y. You are not removing y when it's like this. To remove y, it means we must get a zero. So the, the question was, what are we supposed to do? We are back to the additive concept the additive, if we add, y is going to be removed, 
But x is not going to be removed because that's 1 plus 1. 1x one and 1x, one which is 2x. The 17 and the 3 and the 20. Then you can solve as usual. All right. So that is how these questions can be like. We just need to revise as many questions. Go through your exam questions so that you do understand how they ask these typical questions.